Hi everyone, welcome to the next weekly tech tip. Today um, it's a follow up of the last weekly tech tip. Um, uh, in the last, just as a uh, quick uh, recap, in the last weekly tech tip we create a layer, we import it, export it. And uh, today we want to include this in our standard post processor development uh, environment to um, reuse it every time when we create a new post processor. So um, last time I already um, exported this kinematic layer. So uh, as I said, a short recap, uh, let's do the same for the community layer here. Um, and uh, I just click export layer again. Uh, and directly located in my Mach resource post configurator post template add on folder. And here, um, yeah, we just uh, place it. Okay. And okay. So, uh, what, what is important to know? Um, if you create a new post processor using this option here, um, you have this layer selection here. This layer selection is controlled by an uh, XML file and you can modify it and you can extend the UI, you can uh, put additional items into that. So we have a few uh, out of the box things here. Um, if you um, don't directly find the controller, my first um, approach would be to go to PostHub and uh, search for it. But for sure, you also can create your own uh, layers here. So what we want to do, we want to extend the UI here with an additional item like uh, kinematic settings. To do that, as I said, um, in this uh, resource post configurator post template folder, there is a file which is named a post registry XML. You should make a copy before as a backup. Backup every time is a good thing. And uh, then open this uh, post registry XML file and you will see the definition what you see also in the in the UI of an X. Just let me make it this way. So for example, you have the controller section. So um, it's a redefinition. We enhance this, uh, by the way, starting with 9026 series. And um, there will be no major changes in, in future for the structure because we have now everything inside of it. So if you are on earlier releases, um, um, you should really take a look into that, especially if you already have an environment defined, uh, but it's easily to uh, migrate to this new structure. So to explain, so we have here this controller. So we have a definition of UI item that is the, the container. And inside of this container, you give it a name like a controller. That is what you then see here in the UI. So if I rename this to a different name, it will show up as a different name here. And then you link your um, your single uh, levels like we did with the uh, Cinemaric controller, Cinemaric 1, Cinemaric 840D, Fano, Kainhain, and so on. So to extend it, um, ah, by the way, the same for manufacturer and machine. So my recommendation would be um, to just copy an existing uh, complete UI item here. So we want to create a kinematic uh, definition. So copy the complete one paste it here behind and uh, now let's start okay it's not a machine it's a kinematic configuration so let's move out uh, all the other levels here maybe we keep only one first um, to make it easier to modify so move out the definition and then we can start so what we want to do, uh, it's a kinematic configuration. So the first thing we want to include our kinematic uh, layer with the BC configuration. So let me say kinematic BC and it's a um, dual table. So here we have to point to the PSL file of the layer. So let me go back to the folder here in my add-ons, kinematic, kinematic layer BC, and here that is the file we need. So what I would recommend, um, don't, uh, or yeah, just copy the path. Um, so we already in post uh, template. So that means we need here the path uh, from uh, add starting with add-ons. So, and replace it like, here 
let's change the backslash to a slash. So that is the folder. And now we need our PSL file. So same here. You should copy the name. Uh, this really avoid um, yeah, issues in for the file finding. So now we point to our PSL file. That's good. And now you see here is second thing, dependency. So what does it mean? You can create dependencies when this property should be shown. Or not the property, sorry. Um, this uh, layer should be shown during the creation uh, uh, dialog. So means if we want to have this kinematic layer because it's controller independent for all controllers, you can uh, add all of them here. Or um, if you didn't add any dependency, it will be visible also for all. So let's do it in the first step. Let me remove all the um, dependencies here and uh, save it. Go back to NX. You have to uh, reload this dialog. It's dynamically reading the, uh, the XML file now. And you see we have an item here, kinematic configuration. And we can select our layer. So if I now switch uh, the controller, like to Fanuc, you see it's also available. And uh, yeah, so dependency, what does it mean? Uh, more in detail, let's add a dependency here. And let's say we want maybe ex copy an existing one. We want to have this visible only under uh, Fanuc, for example, and only under the numeric 840D. It, I mean, this, this really depends then on the controller or on the layer you define. So again, create new post processor. So Cinumeric 1, I didn't see kinematic configuration. Cinumeric 840D, hey, here it is, kinematic configuration, and I can select the layer. Fanuc, I see it. Hein, hein, I didn't see it. So. That's uh, um, how you can define those uh, dependencies. Now let's create this post processor with the kinematic BC dual table and uh, kinematic test. So that is what you should do every time when you add a new layer to the environment. You should do a quick test that it's really working and there are no issues from the uh, from the file handling or something. So uh, create and let's see. So maybe you remember I said uh, real machine kinematics. If you don't create a post with a uh, machine tool model, it will using a head table BC configuration. So you see now uh, we already directly have our dual table. It's our B, BC kinematic with the limitations and it's already including this layer here. And if I go to the layer manager, you see there's my kinematic layer BC. So. Let's also do finally a test. Um, if I post process now something, it uh, directly should give the correct output for Cinumeric, uh, for Cycle 800, for example, for the BC kinematic. Um, yeah, that's it, how you can handle it. And um, additional, I mean, this is now uh, repeating. Um, you can also do this with this uh, community layer. So let me also do that. It's very, uh, very fast. Um, again, here we have our community layer. Go to the file. Let's create uh, a new, an, another UI item. And paste it here, a little bit formatting. So that is not now not our kinematic configuration. That is um, like, um, technology configurations. So for example, you have probing layers, you have um, special cycle layers, whatever. Then you can uh, include this here. So community uh, layer. And again, copy it from here, the name of the path. Add-ons and like here, community layer. Uh, 
I think now I go pretty layer. Yeah. Now I confused myself. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So post template, add-ons, community layer. Here it should be. Man, that's <laughs> okay. So and finally, we link to the PSL file. And here we are, PSL file. It should be available for all controllers. So don't let's uh, limit this here to a uh, few controllers. Save it. Cancel post configurator, create a new post processor. And you see, this is maybe what can happen. That is why I mean you should test it. Um, so there's a cannot find library information. Um, and you see there's something maybe not correct here. So let's uh, double check again. Uh, where we, where I have my issue here. Uh, okay, I think I see it. Uh, I think I have, you see I have one UI item too much. So uh, basically my copying was not so good. Uh, we do it this way again. So now, so we have this UI item, this UI item. Okay, so let's save. Create new post processor. Ah, okay. So you should take care a little bit when um, copying the things. Um, and now you see uh, I have my community layer here. And if I select uh, 840D, I have my community layer and I have my kinematic BC configuration. So this is how you can extend it. Uh, make much of sense for extending with, uh, for example, controller, technology, kinematic. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. And bye.